Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing my go-to makeup look. This is my current sort of everyday look. There's no foundation, there's nothing too heavy. I feel like I've kind of gotten a really good hand on how to do this makeup look. And I feel like with so many different products I've tried, like I've really genuinely been <laughs> looking for like the best look that sort of just looks good on camera, or I just need something for like the everyday if I know I'm gonna like be going out to lunch or going out to dinner or something. If I just like don't know what makeup look to do, this is like my default look. I have a lot of the same products that I shared in my what's in my makeup bag video that I recently just posted. A lot of those products are in today's video because this is my go-to makeup look with everything that's in my makeup bag. So um, this is sort of like a two for one, I guess, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll have everything listed down below for you guys in case you're looking for the products. I'll have all the shades and everything like that. Um, I never wanna like leave you guys hanging. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video and let's get started. Okay, so to start off, let's moisturize the lips. I'm using the Summer Fridays, not ribbon. This is the Lip Butter Balm by Summer Fridays in Birthday Cake. And I've already done like SPF and my toner. So I'm gonna go in with my Road Glazing Milk. This is a really essential step to my skincare routine. So this is a very important step for me because I'm so dry, but I also just feel like my products lay so much better when I have this on. And whenever I do my makeup and I'm not using this, I see a really big difference um, in the way my makeup applies. It just doesn't look as nice and fresh and natural looking. This is the Rode Peptide Glazing Fluid. This is another one of those products that I have to have. When I'm doing makeup, I just find this to be very essential. If I don't have this on my skin, my makeup products just like don't lay the same. And I just love how it's very hydrating, but it's super thin. As you can see already, like my skin just looks so dewy and that's when you know your skin is like prepped. You can't go overboard when you use this stuff too. So I love anything with peptides is great for a natural dewy look. I'm gonna start my base makeup with the Star Glow uh, Say Super Dewy Gel. Is that what it's called? Sorry glowy super gel and i'm just gonna apply this all over my skin i mainly focus it on the areas that i want highlight to kind of peek through so on the forehead it's really important down the nose and because it's such a thin formula you can build um, and it's also hydrating so it really just melts in with all that skincare it's so pretty on and really gives you that like pearlescent lit from within look, which is personally what I'm going for. Okay, so for concealers today, I'm gonna use two shades of the Tower 28 concealers. This is in shade NoHo and MDR. NoHo is more of like my correct shade. Um, and then MDR is just a little lighter to give some brightening. So I'm gonna focus this right underneath the eyes. And this is a very pigmented product as well. So you really don't need a lot. I like to focus it around the mouth because I have a lot of like discoloration like around this area. And then I'll take MDR and then I will put like literally a dab right there. I'll use my Say Complexion Brush to blend this out. This is another one of those brushes I mentioned in my Best of Brushes video. I love this brush, it's so good. I feel like it just does a really good job at blending everything out. I have a lot of discoloration on my eyelids, so I like to also correct those. When you're doing your concealer, you don't wanna pull it like past the uh, part where your nose begins. You just kinda wanna bring it right to that border and you'll use a little bit of your concealer on your nose. And then you're just gonna lightly tap so it's straight because once you put this concealer down, if it's not straight, it's gonna be really hard to correct it. So I always like to make sure I get that as straight as possible. And then I'll also blend this out. So as you see, like I'm bringing it down, down the side of my nose so that it keeps the, keeps the shadow right here. Because my concealer is lighter than my actual skin tone, it's giving me that natural contour without even using a contour product. So also do you see how beautiful this 
formula of concealer is. It's so pretty and natural looking, blends in so well. It's very hydrating. So like I said, you wanna find hydrating products for the everyday because I feel like that's gonna really give you a more natural looking finish. I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and I'm just gonna push the product all into my skin. This also kind of helps blend any harsh lines. This is like reassurance for your makeup. It really helps push everything in, blend it all together, and it makes it look a lot more seamless. Right, I'm going in with the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. This one is in shade medium dark. I love using this with the F4 brush. And I will just focus this all over the parameters. You're gonna basically use this where you would a bronzer. But this formula is a cream. It's very sheer, you can really build it, which honestly, this is hard to mess up. If you're not well versed with makeup, this is a really good product because it's super hard to like mess this up. Just get your right shade and you'll find that this is so easy to use and it's just a lot more natural. Like look at how that tan just looks so subtle and that warmth really looks like it's coming from my skin. It's so beautiful. The finish is not dewy. It's not like, as you can see in the pan, tiny bit of like a reflex, but not, nothing to the eye. You won't see like a glitter or sparkle. It just gives it so that there's dimension to the product. And then I'll take the other side. This is the bigger side I'm using. I'm gonna take the littler side and I'm gonna just bring this right down the sides of my nose, go right across like that. I'm gonna blend that out in a second. This side of my brush, and I'll use the littler side as well to blend on the eye just to give it a little bit of dimension because the concealer really does like wipe, looks everything look really flat. So when you go in with your bronzer, you're really just bringing everything back together and giving you that natural structure again to your face. I have two blushes we're gonna be using, one liquid, and then I'm gonna go in with a powder on top of it. I'm gonna use shade Dew Blush in Cutie. This is by Say. I'm just going to apply these right to like the high points, kind of like where you would put a highlight. Then I'm gonna take my Patrick Ta brush and I'm just going to push this into my skin to give me that like really subtle natural color is I'll push it into the skin, but I'll bring it up the side of my temple. And this just really makes everything look a lot more monochrome and just a little bit more seamless. I bring it on the eye as well, mainly focusing it on like the outer corner right here. These Say blushes are very dewy. So they're also gonna give a really pretty natural effect. I'm also gonna go on top of the nose. Okay, so we're basically almost done with the cream products. Just the last thing I'm going to use is my Merit Glow Balm. Merit Day Glow Highlighting Balm, and this is in the shade Citrine. Once you start warming it up with your fingers, it really just starts to melt down like that. And then I'll take a little bit of this and I'll put it on the inner third of the eye just to help kind of open up that eye for the daytime, but just very slightly. So now that we are basically finishing up with the cream products, I'm gonna start going in with my powder products. And the first thing I'm gonna use is a blush chopper. This is in Crystal Slipper by RMS. This is one of my favorite colors right now. I've talked about it so many times, I feel like it's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna take my NARS Yachio brush, going on top of where I use the Cutie blush. This blush has a lot of dimension to it. It's kind of like a baked formula. So you have a little bit of like a built-in highlight already, which I feel like I don't need to use a highlight. So as I'm using it, look at how it's kind of adding a little bit more of that glow, but in a very subtle way. And I also feel like this brush is the best at like dispersing the perfect amount of powder. And as I said in my best of brushes video, I understand why Mary Phillips uses this brush because it's so good for powder products. As you can see, this blush is really starting to like bring in more of like a coppery, rosy hue to my face and that is what I like. And I'm gonna go in on my eyelids with the same brush 
and you're just gonna use a really light dusting motion. So for brows, I like to start off with my Kosas Airbrow. I use this all on the outer third. This is like the only tinted brow gel I'll use on my eyebrows because I feel like it gives a lot of grace in the way it applies. As you can see, I just like filled in my outer third and it doesn't look too harsh or splotchy because I can't stand like a super heavy brow. I just, ugh, I can't. This is the Rare Beauty Eyebrow Gel. I'm gonna go in with this. I don't know why I'm only starting to use this within the last few months. Um, I just kind of found this while I was kind of clearing out my makeup. So once I have like the hairs kind of in the right place, I'll start to push my brows down straight onto the skin. From what I remember, I think this is like their laminating eyebrow gel. It's supposed to like give that effect and it definitely does. I just don't want my eyebrows all like st sticking up. I used to really like that look, but then I look back and I'm like, what are you doing? So I love a little bit of pushing the front up because I feel like that really signals like a very natural eyebrow look. So once I have my brow gel on, I go in with the Glossier Brow Flick and I will just use really light feathering motions for creating, making brow hair strokes. This is just to kind of give a little bit more to the outer third because I feel like my outer third of my brow is not very full as much as like the front of my brows are, especially this side and just use really light, light, light strokes like that. I wanna get this brow flick maybe in like a shade lighter just so that I don't have to be so, 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 so careful because black is just so dark. But I do like the dimension of color. It's a little bit like highlighting your brows. So that I, of course, really, really like. And then if I'm worried about it looking a little too harsh on the ends, I will just take my brow brush and just blend and blend. Then I'm gonna take uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm just gonna go right underneath the eye here and then right on the corner of my nose here where I have concealer. I don't want it to move. And then take a little bit right in like the middle of my eyebrow because I wanna keep this part um, not completely shine free. I do like having a little bit of that shine there. I think like it just makes it look even more natural looking. The last step is mascara. I'm gonna take my Shiseido eyelash curler and the key with the eyelash curler situation, cause I have like really difficult eyelashes for some reason. Put this Shiseido eyelash curler like naturally where you would and then you're gonna just like lift at an angle and then just pump a couple times. This doesn't look weird, you're not doing it right. And then look at how my eyelashes just like stand up now compared to this one. So I use the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I use the waterproof. In general, I have to use waterproof mascaras because my eyelashes naturally point down. These used to not always be like that. I feel like within the last like, I don't know, five, six years, I've noticed that I have to use a waterproof mascara, otherwise they just start to like, everything starts to fall forward again. So I use a waterproof one, but I also really like using this brown shade. I have a black one as well, but for the everyday, I love using a brown because it's not as harsh. Brown, honestly, like you wouldn't even know. This is starting to like dry out, so. It's not performing as great as it usually is, but this is my favorite mascara. I think it's so good. Okay. I feel like it just opened my eyes so well. We are totally forgetting one product. Um, we have to go in with a powder bronzer. Hello. It's the House Labs number three bronzer. And I'm gonna take my like big fluffy hourglass brush and I'm just gonna Start applying this to like in a three, just keeping it right on the outside portions of my face. Just adds a little bit of something. I, I don't know what it is. Ties everything together, maybe it makes it look a little bit more airbrushed. I don't know, just always looks so good. And I'm gonna go in the crease with this, wipe off my lip balm. 
The Makeup by Mario lip liners, I use two different ones. I have Travis and Almond. Oh my God, these are both Almond? <laughs> where's, where's Travis? Trav, where are you? I think I put it down somewhere. Oh my God, I'm such a moron. So I like these two, the um, Victoria Beckham Lip Definer in 04. Very similar to the Chanel one. I'll show you guys. So this one is the Victoria Beckham. This is the Chanel. This one's like a little bit more of a dusty rose. This one is like a dusty rose. It's just a little more deeper, which I like both of them. But I am gonna use the Chanel one because this has just been my like go-to since we're doing an everyday look. This is the Chanel 162 Nude Brun. I have a question. When I do my lip liner, you guys, do I go in and like, make this little divot more apparent or should I just like go straight across like a bridge? I don't know. Then for lip color, I use Merit's Slip Nude Brown Shade. Pretty that like combo is, isn't that so nice? I'm gonna set my skin with the Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Spray. I'm gonna take uh, a little bit of this Hourglass uh, Waterproof Gel Liner. This is in Chestnut. And this doesn't go on the lash line, it goes like right under. And I just think like the slightest bit just makes your lash line just look a little fuller. And I like this color because it's like a dark brown, but it has like a little bit of like a cherry cola. It's really pretty and it looks so good on brown eyes. It just like kind of makes them twinkle a little more. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me do my everyday makeup routine. If there's anything else you want to see on my channel, please let me know. I'll leave them down in the comments below. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.